back. Who knows? Okay. I'm starting to get there. I think this ah! says the, the stripes of the apple. Oh, chan, 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 chan. oh my god, it's a gastrop! Hello my friends and welcome back to another fossil hunting episode. So guys, I don't know if you remember from those wind turbines over there, so that was the place of one of my last videos, so today I came to this point over here. As you can see, we are pretty far away from that point, but this is one of the highest points here in the region of Lisbon and we have a magnificent view from up here. Uh, see, we have the Atlantic Ocean, we have some clouds over there, so this is pretty a magnificent view and it's worth visiting uh, not just for fossil hunting but just to hike a little bit oh my camera is doing some lame stuff again so uh, I just wanted to show you this uh, view from over here I know that the, the main purpose of oh my god my camera I know that the main purpose of the videos are fossils but I think this uh, is worth showing to you guys so I'm going to see if I can find some fossils way over there in that hills so um, well maybe in that that ravines or in that hills over there I can see if there is fossils but for now I'm just uh, seeing this oh there's a cruise liner entering the Arbor Lisbon I'm not sure if I'm going... oh, here it is uh, here it is, the cruise liner pretty cool this is a little camera but it has a powerful zoom and there is a speck of dust in my lens sorry about that guys okay um, guys, if you ever came to Portugal don't forget to visit Serra de Sintra because it's it's beautiful from up here so the sun is rising, it's still pretty early in the morning um, I have to suppress some of the audio from this, this uh, movie because it's too windy up here so I don't know if you are hearing me right so guys it's a beautiful day in here and I'm checking this cliff uh, to see if there is fossils uh, well I didn't find anything in particular in here just a few shells but there is something over there see let me see if I can show you two guys there's something in there oh I guess I'm zooming in the wrong direction oh okay here it is it has some curved lines a bit different from the <clears throat> the normal uh, layout of the of the area see there is some stratification and it seems pretty pretty unusual but this is a very hard climb a bit a few a bit steep and I don't know if I can reach it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. this is a very very steep hill around here see well it's round too much round for this kind of stratification so I'm guessing I'm going to do a different approach and try to approach from this side over here to see if there is oh if this is a fossil it's a jackpot because I didn't even have to try very hard so let's see okay hmm I guess it's nothing but who knows Oh my god! Oh my god, it's a gastropod! Wow! <laughs> wow! Another gastropod. Well, you, you cannot see the spirals, but this one is huge also, and it has that, that turbine tip. <laughs> I call it turbine tip. Oh my god, a gastropod without doing nothing. Oh, now I need to know how the hell I'm going to climb this without 
Okay, without failing. Ooh, I have to calm down and then the gastropod. Okay guys, here I am with this gastropod. The bottom is okay, but we cannot see the spirals yet. I think it might need, oh, it started to break. Okay, let's see. Okay, it just break a little piece over there. So, oh, this is very cool. I'm not sure. Okay, this has the the stripes of the Arpa Goddess in Sertus Sea. That lines over there, but no spirals at all. Okay, but no problem. This is cool stuff. Cool stuff. Woohoo! And it was right there, just for me to pick it up. <laughs> cool. So guys. I was investigating this area around here and spotted this round stuff in here so I will try to ex excavate a little bit to see what it is whoa okay let's dig a little bit over here oh to start from the top because I don't want to scratch the fossil if there is a fossil in here this might take a while see if I'm wasting my time or not but I'm guessing there is something in here mm -hmm. now I'm going to from the bottom this it's a tiny shell cool okay. do you think fossil hunting is easy try to film with one hand and try to excavate with the screwdriver on the other You can say, well, with the pick or with the right tool, it was easy. Okay, but I don't have the right tool because I want to travel light. I am with some back pain and I don't want to carry much weight in my backpack. Oh my God, I hope this all, this effort worth. Sometimes I, I, I try to remove some rocks and I do some excavation, excavation and in the end it turns out to be nothing. But you guys don't see that on YouTube because we only see the successful ones. We don't even imagine. Sometimes the frustration that it is to be one hour trying to excavate a fossil and in the end you realize, well, that is not the fossil. And I started to wondering if this is or not. Well, mm -hmm. well, now since I begin, I will end. Okay, it's moving. It's a bit like removing it a, a tooth. Okay, 
I hope this continues a little bit. Yes, it continues over. Okay. Good, good indicator. Okay, it continues. Yeah, cool. See this. Okay, guys, I'm going to take a break because whew, my my arm is hurting me. Okay, let's continue. I rest a little bit now. Let's see. So I am excavating in below and above, not directly into the fossil, what I presume it's a fossil, in order not to damage. And I want to make sure if it has some sort of tip that I didn't break it when I would when I try to extract it because most of the times that tip I end up losing the tip. Okay, okay, see this bit over here curves, so pretty cool, well if this is not a fossil this is a uh, a pretty good imitation of the mother nature, but I already was wrong in the past so it a little bit from over here okay now oh it start to move okay it's a pretty good sign and I will try to do a lever with my stick over here see if I can lift it no not really okay not yet Okay, I'm starting to get there. Okay, just one more. It's not loose yet. Maybe a little bit more on this side. And okay, now it's loose. Now we are going to see if all the effort was worth it. So, chan 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 chan. Okay, okay, let me take it out. Okay, okay. Oh my god, it was nothing. Guys, I guess I was wrong. After a few more hits in the tip, I think this has some coils around here, but they are very indistinctive. So I guess this is a gastropod, but it's a very damaged one. Maybe an Arpagodes insertus also. Well, I, I will carry this home with me to see if. Uh, if it is truly a fossil or not, it's a bit heavy, but I don't know if, since I have that work, I will carry it home with me. So guys, here it is. Uh, now you can see better the, the spiral that is in there. So in the beginning I thought that this is, was nothing, then I realized it was a fossil but uh, it's not worth of my collection because it's too damaged you can see still you can still see some pieces of shell around here but there is something cool about this it's because i think there is there must be something where it is where it is i think in this side over here there's something uh, a little bit different well, I don't know if this is another shell. See, there is something round. I guess I will try to figure this one out. Uh, maybe it's worth worth investigate a little bit better. But overall, 
well, it's cool, but not cool enough for my collection. Uh, I have better ones, as you can see in the other videos. So, let's see now if I can... Sorry, I keep moving this around. Uh, I will see if I can remove this one or what? what's in this place around here, because maybe it's nothing. Well, let's see. So guys, this was the first fossil that I found. As you can see, <laughs> now it's broken because when I bring it home, I drop the bag. Unfortunately, it breaks into several pieces. It's a bit shame because the tip over here, it's complete. But the spirals were not visible, so um, even if I had the complete fossil, I still don't know if I have the spirals like these other ones that are in here that are complete and if you are wondering what's inside of one of these fossils I could show you there's nothing inside like an ammonite which have which has uh, crystals inside these fossils are pretty dense at least this one over here doesn't show any signs of, of crystals whatsoever uh, it has some signs of uh, I don't know brown stuff maybe with a microscope that could be some micro fossils down there but it's pretty sorry guys let me so it's like that so as you can see it's pretty shame this one could be a nice companion to these other ones over here but it's like that well, it's uh, fossil hunting, it's, it's like that. You have to be prepared for some disappointments. And we cannot find fossils, uh, complete fossils and good fossils all the time. So, uh, despite that, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you soon. Bye.